The driving home for Christmas hitmaker is stable and recovering in hospital after he collapsed on stage in Oxford on Saturday, December 9, 2017. A spokeswoman for South Central Ambulance Service confirmed that they were called at 9.30 p.m. to attend to an incident in George Street in Oxford and had an ambulance crew on scene. The music legend was taken away on a stretcher after he fell to the ground and began shaking, with, one shocked fan tweeting, I'm at the new theatre Oxford. Moments after I took this photo Chris re-collapsed, on stage. Fell backwards after shaking and struggling to hold the microphone. Chris, 66, suffered a stroke last year and was just nearing the end of a 37-venue tour. He also fell into major bouts of depression after battling pancreatic cancer in 2001 and had part of the small intestine and pancreas removed, leaving him with diabetes. He also takes medication every day and he previously admitted that he gets terribly emotional knowing his body will never fully recover. He said, I'm terribly emotional about the things that go wrong with my body. And especially since I lost my pancreas. I still get major bouts of depression about never being the same again. And I can't switch that bit off. It would be great if I could. To say that losing your pancreas is a sad thing is not an overstatement. They had to take my pancreas away, my duodenum, and it's damaged forever. There's two ways you look at it. They all say, you're lucky to be alive, Mr. E. So you either accept that or you think, I'm never going to be what I used to be. I'm never going to be able to eat what I used to eat. You have to then just get on with it. Speaking about his stroke earlier this year, he added to the Sunday Express newspaper, I had the stroke last year. It's left me with bad balance. We are wondering about what we're going to do when we're on tour. So I don't wobble over and everyone thinks I'm drunk. But asked if he'd perform sitting down, he said, no. You can't do that. I'd rather give up than do that. Chris, who has daughters Josephine and Julia with wife Joan, didn't even realize he'd had a stroke until the following day, as he attributed his symptoms to being drunk. He recalled, I was in the pub. I hadn't got a clue what it was until I went to see the GP the next day. I felt like maybe I'd had a bit too much to drink. I was thinking, gosh, I used to drink a lot, more beer than that. The GP gave me balance and coordination tests and he said, hospital straight away. You've had a stroke. Oh my god, I was so scared. I was so scared. I then started physiotherapy. These two fingers are giving me grief still because I'm a guitarist. This arm is a bit not as good as it used to be. This one's a funny one. I feel as if someone's put a tight elastic band around my ankle. It's just nerve damage. Thankfully that's all that's left now. And the Let's Dance hitmaker admitted he worries people will think he looks like a drug addict when they notice he can be unsteady on his feet. He added, it's just a balance. It's not so bad now, 
you didn't notice did you? The first time I came into the record company a couple of weeks ago, I was really getting anxious because I was wondering if anyone noticed. I wondered if they'd think there was something wrong with me. Am I a drug addict? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.